welcome to my YouTube channel. So this was requested a lot off my TikTok, which is Becky Jones Ford. You'd like to go and add it if you haven't come from there. But yeah, so I thought, well, why not? I might as well start a YouTube channel. So I'm kind of just going with it. I've been watching a few to get a few like ideas and feels for it. So I'm so sorry if this isn't like the best. It's also Christmas Eve today, the day I'm filming. So Merry Christmas, everyone. And I thought I'd start off with a Q&A. Um, I've never done one of these before, so I hope that you like it. So let's get on with the video. Okay, so I've got my iPad here and I'm just going to go through some of the comments and choose the questions that I get asked the most. So this is Luke underscore official. Who inspired you to start cooking or how did you learn to, to love to cook? So um, basically, um, I've always had like a phobia of raw meats and stuff. So I used to didn't really cook at all. Um, and if I did, it would just be like packet stuff. So like noodles and um, like ready-made rice, you know, pasta, stuff like that. And then I'd kind of buy cooked chicken. And then a few years ago, I started baking. I was going through quite a tough time at the time and it really took my mind off it. Um, because I think when you're cooking or baking, you're constantly like weighing ingredients, measuring things out, getting everything sorted, making sure it doesn't burn, making sure your mixture's right. So your mind is constantly, you know, going round and round. So you just haven't got time to think about anything else. And I just enjoyed it so much. Like I loved experimenting with my own stuff. Just started, I'd say a few years ago, really loving cooking always loved watching cooking programs so i love gordon ramsay and my favorite chef is james martin absolutely love him love the way he cooks love his love his uh, recipes and everything like that and um, my mum my also as well my dad loves to cook so i always used to watch him in the kitchen and like i still do now like he's such an amazing cook and also as well like apps like tiktok and youtube and Facebook, Instagram, like you see a lot of people cooking and I always get like inspo from them. So yeah, I hope that answered your question. Um, I love this one because I always get asked a lot. Like I think people think that I have been cooking and baking for years and years, but honestly, about two years ago and like I'm still learning new things. Thank you for that question. Okay, so the next question is from It's Sierra. Sorry if I pronounced your name right, wrong. So the next, oh. <laughs> so the next question is from It's Sierra. So sorry if I've pronounced your name wrong. What is your fave baking brand? Oh, so this is a tough one because there's so many good ones out there. And I'm so sorry if I have misunderstood um, what you meant by this question. But I'm guessing you mean like what I use a lot of. So I use a lot of Betty Crocker's stuff. And like, answer as well what I think you might mean as well. So where I will go for like my baking stuff. So I go to Morrison's a lot. Morrison's have such a good baking aisle. But yeah, I always go to Morrison's. That is my like go-to, to go to, if you get me. Uh, so yeah, Betty, Crocker and Morrison's. So thank you for your question. I hope that answered it. <laughs> okay, so the next question is of evie.wood.9. Thank you for your question. How... Has it been having a lot of followers? Um, oh, amazing. So the first thing is when, obviously, the first video I done on TikTok that blew up, the hot chocolate video, um, when that went viral, as people say, I just could not believe it. And I just kept thinking, oh my God, oh my God, I'm viral, I'm viral. And like my little niece Paige was in the video with me. She was like, oh, I wish we posted it on mine. The video gets seen and then people like your content which I'm so, so grateful for that, you know, at the minute I've got 25,000 followers on, on TikTok and that is just absolutely amazing. I cannot believe it. Like, I'm so, so grateful. Really fun. Um, Every time I get like a new, you know, like into the next step of my followers. So when I was on like 10 and I got 11, I remember phoning Paige and being like, Paige, I've got 11,000 followers. So it's so nice, like sharing it with my family. Um, Although like my parents don't really know what it is. Like they're just like, oh, that's amazing. No, that is amazing. Like they're so they and then when they realise, they're like, oh, they actually follow you. Like they they want to be your friend on there. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I love like seeing like all my regular like I don't like saying fans because like you're my followers, but fans. Um, 
always like I always notice you all so don't worry and I notice everybody's comments like the lovely comments and stuff obviously that comes with some hate then like so like the fat shamers so always saying you shouldn't be eating that I think you've had enough of those so it does come with hate I don't understand why people hate and why they will go on an app that is can be so positive for everybody on there and turn it into something negative like it's not the app's fault it's like, I know some people that will go, oh, I'm not using that, that my like kid use that app because the app is so, and I think it's not that app, it's the people on the app that make it negative. But other than that, other than the few hate comments and everything, I have had, I'm having a wonderful time doing my TikToks. I absolutely love it. Thank you again for all like your support and everything. So I hope that answered your question, Evie. Okay, so next question is from underscore Darcy dot i or sorry if that's an l or a one what breed of dog do you have so i have the cutest dog so this is him i will put a picture here so this is him uh he is now 11 and he is a shih tzu slash lapso um so he's quite big for a shih tzu that's why we gather he's a lapso and the vet did say he's a lapso um so his name is Ollie, O double L Y. Got him when Ollie Mose was on the X Factor. The people we got him off, we still keep in touch with them now. They're such a lovely family. And they were like, Would you like us to start calling my name? And I loved the name Harvey for so long. Like, if I ever got a dog, I wanted to call it Harvey. I already had a dog, but it was a girl dog. Um, and she was a rescue dog, and her name was already Kira. I was like, Right, okay, Harvey, Harvey, because I've always wanted to call him that. And then I just thought Ollie would be so cute. Like, it's so, it's like, it's obviously not rare but it's not very popular like i only know a few dogs called ollie ollie ollie, ollie. so we just called him ollie and then yeah i've had him for 11 years like he is my dog but he loves my mom and dad more he is such a cutie it makes my day all the time so thank you for your question okay so the next question is from b b uh, d h x o four so sorry if i pronounced that wrong would you ever go to Belfast? Oh, I would love to go to Belfast. I've always wanted to go to Ireland, like always. It looks so good there. Uh, definitely come to Belfast. Uh, any good places in Belfast, drop, drop your suggestions below and I will have a look at that. There's no travel restrictions. I'm definitely going to look into coming to Belfast. So thank you for your question. Okay, so my next question is from it's Sierra underscore X again. Do you like animals? So I love animals. Yeah, so I love animals. I absolutely love them. Like I love going to the zoo and everything. I just don't understand how anybody could hurt anything, especially a defenseless animal. I feel that like people, some people don't like zoos. I feel like it's a, it's a debate. People are like, they shouldn't be caged up. And I totally understand that. But I feel that the ones that are going extinct, we need to protect we need to protect that species so i'm not saying i'm for them and i'm not saying i'm against them i'm kind of on the fence if that's how you will and it is my own opinion but chester zoo where i live not where i live i don't live in chester zoo but where i live by um is absolutely amazing it's such a beautiful zoo and you can see all the hard work that they do as well so i have like a little animal kingdom on my um shelf which i will show you in a minute but yeah, I absolutely love animals. My favourite animal would probably have to be a penguin. Penguin, giraffe or a bear. I love those. <laughs> so yeah, so I hope that's answered that question for you too. So my next question is from King Tai 25 What's your favourite food and why? So my favourite food, so I'll do it in like a meal type and then I'll go to like snacks. Yeah, a lot of food so favorite meal to have at home my favorite meal to have at home is honey and mustard chicken with new potatoes broccoli and carrots absolutely love this meal my dad makes this the absolute best and i like i'm always like oh, can we have honey and mustard can we have honey when he's mustard? cooking so yeah that's my favorite meal my fave meal when i go out is obviously a nando's if you've been following my tiktoks you probably know i love a nando's my go-to meal there is four boneless chicken thighs um spicy rice chips and garlic bread but i'll do like half your half with my mom so we'll have half the rice and half the garlic bread and the halloumi sticks amazing oh. 
so yeah so favorite meal to cook is the chicken kebabs that i made on my tiktok i don't know if any of them saw them but here is what they looked like i never like big up my my meals but this was like such a good one because it was super easy that is my favorite meal to cook my favorite snacks are jaffa cakes i love jaffa cakes i've loved them for so long and i love chocolate ice gems you know with the little chocolate on top i love them as well and my favorite my favorite drinks my favorite crisp are cheese and onion hula hoops and ready salted hula hoops okay so the next one again is from king tai 25 oh i've lost it <laughs> wait there how old are you and where are you from so I am 27 years old and I am 28 tomorrow, Christmas Day. And I am from Ellesmere Port, which is, I always get this question a lot, like, am I from the Wirral or am I from Liverpool? But now I'm from Cheshire. So Ellesmere Port is basically in between Chester and Liverpool, if that makes sense. Right near Cheshire Road. So yeah, thank you so, so much for all your amazing questions. I loved answering them. I will do another Q&A soon. So look out for that on my TikTok. I will be asking for questions. Um, also as well, if you didn't get my TikTok name, it's here. And I would love it if you could please subscribe and hit the like button and leave any suggestions in the comment comments below on what next on what video I should do next on my YouTube. Thank you all so much and have a very Merry Christmas.